high up your love, I don't know how to be hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shark the Glam, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Today is a very special video. It's a collaboration video with my favorite YouTuber of all time, Tamika Annas. We are doing a collaboration video about slang. Now mind you, I'm from the Midwest and Tamika is from down south. And I know that her lingo is way different from mine and mine is different from hers. So therefore, we decided to jot down our top 10 favorite slang words from our respective cities and then swap them. And we're gonna try to guess what they mean and try to put them into a sentence. So, if you're interested in watching a video like this, stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I have the slang here in my phone and I'm gonna be reading it off to you guys as we go along. The first word is yonder. So for me, yonder is like over there. Like I'm going up yonder, uh, going over yonder. Um, if I put it into a sentence, that'd be like, uh, I'm going up yonder to the movies. This first word is yonder. Yonder means it's pretty much a place that's nearby. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna give you an example. Yonder is like go over yonder and hand me that hand me my purse. Or go down yonder and bring me a soda. <laughs> Number two, reckon. Um, I have heard this before. Um, reckon means like I guess so or I would imagine or uh, something like that. So I would say, um, I reckon we're going to the club later, right? Or I reckon we're going out to dinner tonight, right? Great. Reckon is pretty much another way of saying guess. Like instead of saying, I guess I'll go to the store, I'll say, I reckon I go to the store. Number three, shuck. Um, hmm. So when you shuck, that means like you shuck something like a corn or uh, shell the peas, you know, uh, yeah, or all shucks, <laughs> which is basically like, you know, saying, oh shoot, you know, um, so if I was to put shuck in a sentence, I would say, uh, I want to shuck some corn later for the barbecue, is that cool? That's how you shuck. Shuck is just a way to peel like the husk off the corn. It's just that's pretty much all it is. You're just peeling the husk off the corn. So instead of just peeling it, you'll say I'm shucking corn. Number four, uppity. Uppity means like bougie or like stuck up or you know, you know, like you got the nose all turned up, you think you're better than some dog on body. Like that's what uppity I think that's what it means. So if I was to put uppity into a sentence like, girl, why you uppity? <laughs> uppity is just another way of saying somebody's bougie or just stuck up or sedity, just real uppity. Number five, mash. So if I, let's see, I've mashed potatoes before. Um, I was mashing all the way to the house. I had to get there fast. Mash. Mash is just another way we say press. We'll say uh, mash that button right there. Don't just say press that button. We'll say mash that button right there. Number six is heat. Uh, heat is like a lot of something, an abundance of something. And if I was to use it in a sentence, I would say, I have a heap of clothes to wash by the end of the day. <sighs> heat. Heat is just a way of saying it's a lot of something. Like, um, like if you have a lot of potatoes on your plate, you have like a heap of potatoes or just, you know, just pretty much a lot of something. Number seven is puny. Puny is something like small, you know, tiny, you know, wimpy. Use puny in a sentence, I would say, I would say, that little puny little dog, he's so cute. Puny. Puny is just a way of saying somebody's just really small, somebody's real, real slim. So instead of saying, oh, she's real small, you'll say, oh, she's real puny. Number eight is fixing. Fixing is to like fix breakfast, make something. Uh, so fixing means to like make something or put something together or about to do something. It can be used in a plethora of contexts. So in my instance, I would say, 
more. I'm, also, I'm fixing some dinner for my friends tonight. I think that's right. <laughs> Fixing is just another way of saying I'm about to do something. Like, for example, if I say, instead of saying I'm about to go to, go to the store, I say I'm fixing to go to the store. Normally, if we just run it all together, I'm fitting to go to the store. So that's pretty much all ran together, but fixing to is pretty much pretty much what it is. I'm fitting to go to the store. Number nine, egg on. So egg on basically means to instigate, if I remember correctly. That's like you keep pushing somebody to do something. Keep hyping somebody up to do something. So, so if I was to use egg on in a sentence, I would say like, you keep egging that girl on to, you know, to go with us. Like, you know, she don't want to go. Egg on to egg something on means to just egg it on. It's just not making you no better. You just instigating. You just really egging on the situation. You just not making it better. You just really, really just putting fuel on the fire, pretty much. Number ten, hunky dory. Um, hunky door is like, uh, it's all good, you know, everything's great. If I was see hunky door in a sentence, I would say, you know, everything is all hunky dory over this one. I even think of hunky door being kind of like nonchalant, like you know, it's cool, like it's whatever, you know. Hunky dory, hunky dory. If you hear this, if you hear somebody say this, it pretty much means everything's pretty much all good. Everything is fine. Everything's hunky dory. Everything is all good. So that was a lot of fun to shoot. So that's it for our collaboration video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure to film this video and to collaborate with someone so great, someone that I look up to so much. If you haven't already, please thumbs up and subscribe down below. I would absolutely appreciate it. And please leave me some comments too. And follow me on all of my social media handles so we can be friends. Until next time, take care. Bye. High up your love, I don't know how to be here.